Story Time with Tom Foolery presents The Very Bloodthirsty Caterpillar, written by Satire Headquarters. The title alone should be a clue, but all the same, viewer discretion advised. In the light of a moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and, pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very, very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate what any other caterpillar would. One apple, one pear, one plum, one strawberry, and one orange. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he went to a nearby trash can for some leftover scraps. He ate one piece of chocolate cake, one soggy ice cream cone, one rotten half-eaten pickle, one mouldy slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of chewed salami, one dirty lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one slimy sausage, one stale cupcake, and one rotten watermelon rhyme. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he came across a heavy case full of fun treats. From it, he ate one hard avocado, two black candy bars, three pieces of hard crackers with whimsical pictures on them, four stacks of green tissue paper, and five bags full of white sugar. But he was still hungry and got a stomach ache. On Thursday, he laid on his leaf, wondering why he didn't feel satisfied after trying so many different things. A man then left a dead body next to his home. Curious as to this, he crawled over to take a look. He saw there was shiny red liquid coming out of its head. He wondered if it was food and licked it to see. Oh! He liked it very much and wanted more. On Friday, he started to look for nothing else but flesh and blood. Notably, he grew bigger and ferocious after his last meal. After travelling through endless miles of grass and hills, he finally came across a city. When he entered, he marvelled at the many types of fleshies running away in terror from him. From small to tall, to young and old. But this wasn't troublesome for the savage caterpillar, as he was able to catch up. He also wasn't picky with who to eat, whether it was the children at Pookie's preschool, the hippie and his wife down the road, or the senior citizens at Shady Shoke's nursing home. He ate everyone with joy, growing bigger and bigger with each meal. But he was still bloodthirsty. His antics even got him on the news. Nothing was stopping the savage caterpillar, who was still searching for more fleshies. On Saturday, the National Guard was called in to defend the city's last remaining citizens. Oh, fuck. The next day was Sunday again. He ate through all the city's residents and the National Guard, taking a rest after. Now he wasn't hungry or bloodthirsty anymore, 
And he wasn't just a caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat, monstrous bug with a full stomach. He built a giant house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two months. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and out came an atrocious abomination of jumbled up human flesh. The end. The very bloodthirsty caterpillar. Written and illustrated by Satire Headquarters. Narrated by Tom Foolery. A very special thank you to Satire Headquarters for sending us this wonderful story. More information of where you can get yourself a copy is in the description of this video. You can also check out Satire Headquarters on Instagram. I'm sure all the information is being cleverly edited on the screen right now. Thank you. Well, that escalated really, really quickly, didn't it? Well, I rather enjoyed it anyway. The ending reminded me of a David Cronenberg movie. Which one? All of them. All of the David Cronenberg movies. And then that other one that had an abomination in it. The one starring your mother. Let us know in the comments section if there are any stories you think we should narrate in the future. Perhaps drop us a line on Instagram. In the meantime, Finger the links on screen. Story time will return. See you next time.